My name is Carrie. I've been in recovery for a little over two and a half years. So in January of 2014, I lost my best friend of 27 years to a heroin overdose. In May of 2015, I started to abuse prescription opiates um, and eventually graduated to snorting heroin. Because of the stigma surrounding it, I did not want to seek out treatment and get help um, from others. So I kept trying to do it on my own without want anyone really knowing. And I was completely unsuccessful. I knew early on I had a problem. I just didn't know how to go about getting the help I needed for it. So it took quite some time before I finally said, hey, like I need help. I can't do this on my own. So I went and found the pathway to recovery that worked best for me. I think until society starts to realize that we in fact have a disease, the stigma is not going to get a whole lot better. You know, if you have a heart disease, you take medication for it. Um, I think there's stigma around medical assisted treatment as well. And I just think that there needs to be more talk of all the different pathways to recovery. Um, Cause I think each one carries its own stigma. <laughs> we are all capable of recovery and you're worth recovery. So you need to put yourself first and put aside the stigma and put aside the shame and guilt because you are so worth every moment of recovery.